Welcome back to the kitchen. It's Chef P. I'm here with you again, still on quarantine, but we're having a great time coming up with delicious dinners uh, to make, finding foods in the pantry and in the fridge. Let's go take a look. We're also gonna use some dried navy beans. Uh, we'll have to measure out a couple of those. We're and gonna use some onions and garlic, and I've got some more celery in the fridge. It's going to be some of our potatoes. We'll use a few other seasonings. I'll show you what those look like when we get them. All right, and for our navy bean soup, we are going to need a little bit of ham. So we've got some ham in the fridge. A little ham steak in the fridge. And now we've gonna do a navy bean soup. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna have three basic steps. All right, step one is gonna be preparing the beans. So we are gonna weigh out and soak one pound of navy beans and that's 16 ounces. We're gonna sift through here and make sure that there's uh, no dirt or sticks or anything else. And once we get sifted through that, we're gonna get the water in here. Soaking beans. It is time to get these beans drained off and we will get them into our Dutch oven and get this recipe started. Always make sure to wash your hands first. Let's bring the beans over. We'll get them in the pot with the rest of our ingredients, the quartered ham, as well as a little bit of onion for aromatics. No salt at this time. Get our onions and our ham. The reason we don't put the salt in there is we don't want to toughen the skins up. We'll bring that up to a simmer and we will leave the lid on and we'll rock and roll for about an hour and a half. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I completely forgot? I have got some special guest stars. These are Parmigiano Reggiano rinds. We're gonna add these into our navy bean soup. It's gonna be fantastic. Right, the last ingredients we're gonna throw in the Parmigiano rinds, we're using a ham steak instead of like a, a pork knuckle or a ham up or something like that. Uh, but. We're making do with what we've got in the fridge and in the pantry, so keep cooking. Stay pot. Once we get that bubbling and little simmering in the middle, it's time to drop our heat down. And we'll put that lid on so we know we've got good resonating contained heat of the Dutch oven and we'll let that go for an hour and a half. Step two, getting the vegetables ready. Let's do it. Wow. So let's get these peeled up. Then we'll get these potatoes cut up into a bowl. Celery cut, and in the bowl. Garlic. We are now prepped. It is time to have the potatoes take a dip in the boiling bath of water and we'll saute up these vegetables and get them in the soup. So we have put the uh, beans on the back burner, literally, and we will get the potatoes in the water. Do them until they're fork tender and we can make some quick mashed potatoes. We've got the potatoes on the other burner and we're gonna get our veggies rocking and rolling. Use a medium high heat, about two and a half or three tablespoons of butter. Don't forget to season with salt. The smells coming out of this pan are wonderful. Once you get that butter all the way melted down, you can turn your heat down to a somewhat of a low heat, medium low, and we'll finish cooking until they're ready. We're going to take the onions out of the stock and we're also going to fish out our ham so we can dice that up and get it added back into the beans. Step three, let's mix it all together, let it meld, let it make magic. Here we go. The, uh, the smell of these onions and butter and Parmesan and ham, it is so good right now. All right, let's do this. Ham in, vegetables in, into the soup, into the pot. All right. Now that we've drained the potatoes, we're going to add our milk. We're going to mash these up and add them into our soup. All right, now that we've got our potato mash, let's add it to our bean soup. Now that we've got everything in the pot, we're going to stir it up. We're going to get those potatoes blended in there. Look how beautiful, look at the texture and the color of that soup. 
Next thing is to cook it down for about another hour. We'll leave it on a low simmer, let it boil away, and get the house smelled with goodness. What you can see is the nice bubbles developing. The richness is really gonna come through as we uh, reduce this stock and this soup down. It'll really concentrate the flavors. That ham and potato and onion celery mixture is gonna be delighting your taste buds. All right, we are just about done with this soup. You can see that the consistency is thickened up a little bit and we are going to add some seasoning, taste it, and then we'll be ready to serve. That was about two teaspoons of salt. Always important to taste your food. Still needs a little bit more salt. We added another uh, teaspoon and a half of salt and it is tasting perfect. Mm. So let's get it served up into a bowl. Great. We're gonna give the soup a try. <coughs> We've got our guinea taster. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's good. Nice. We gotta pause up. Pause up. It's really good. Thanks for joining me in another video. I hope you too have some of these ingredients. You can make this classic navy bean soup at home. If you have any ideas, comments, and suggestions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to respond to them. And if you have an idea, you have some uh, ingredients in your kitchen, let me know. I'll show you what we can make. All right. Have a good one. Stay positive. Keep cooking. We'll see you next time.